Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing a lot of things. Um, hold on a second. So what we're going to be doing, I'm going to be answering a few questions that I've had <clears throat> and I'm also going to fix a boat and we're going to do that on video so that we'll be able to um, so that we'll be able to, you'll be able to learn. So first things first, uh, there's a, there's something I need to teach you about saving your files so instead of going to like roblox.com and going to your and going to your place and then um or actually I think you go to build here and then going to edit instead of doing that um, this is much more efficient and much more safe as well so what you need to do is save your um, save your files in on your computer instead of only on Roblox. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. So what you do to create a new files, you open up Roblox Studio, and then you just click New File right here, and here we are. Now it hasn't saved it to your computer yet, so what you have to do is go to the File menu and then click Save As, and then find whatever folder you want to save it into. Um, so it's the default folder for this is just in my documents and then in Roblox I'm pretty sure and then you just down here name it whatever you want like um, testing place and um, but I'm not gonna save it so then um, in fact uh, let me show you I'm not gonna save that let me show you a place that I already have saved on my computer and this is the scripting place that I've been you that I've been using to teach um, in my scripting videos <clears throat> let's delete that real quick so this is um, as you can see all I did was I um, if, if you're using like Windows 7 I think you can go down here click on that if this isn't here then go to the start menu and then do documents and then uh, find whatever folder folder that you have your parts that you have your um, places saved and then just double click on the thing you want and what ha okay so if you double click it and it doesn't work um, then right click the thing right click your place and then open with and then find um, you can either this will probably show up here because uh, this will make it open up with the, the Roblox studio so you can um, find that here but if that's not there then do browse um, and I think it's let's see if we click this arrow and then go to Ethan app data roaming maybe you know what never mind I'm not gonna be able to show that in this video but um, look around on your computer find it find the um, Roblox studio thing alright so that's that uh, the reason you wanna do this is because you'll be able to also save backups so if you're working on something and you want to save a backup because you're about to do something you know is kind of risky and you might not want to save it like that, um, just do this and hit Control C to copy it, and then Control V to make a paste, and then that will make a copy and you can rename it if you want to. So like you can call it backup. Uh, but I don't need a backup for this, so I'm just going to delete that. Okay, so uh, all this seems kind of complicated, but it is important to know because. I'm pretty sure that's how all the awesome builders do things because it's safer and it's more professional. Anyway, now to fixing the boat. So, Minecraft Easy Tutorials uh, commented and he wanted to know. Uh, he he was trying to make this boat, which I explained in a different video, and he was having troubles making it. Um, I'm going to say he had everything right except for a few things. So I ta I've taken his model and I'm just going to click that and to put it into the game. So, let's see. The problem with his boat is that everything is anchored. See, if we select this piece, uh, right now we have the base of the boat selected, and if we scroll down, it's anchored. And so it's not going to move at all. So, as well as in this raft, raft sail model, all these, they are anchored. Or some of, let's see, it looks like this wedge is not anchored. That's good, but we need to unanchor everything. And let's select that, unanchor it. So now I believe everything here is unanchored, which is good. And then 
Uh, the vehicle seat is anchored, but as you can see in this script, it's needed for it to be anchored so that it can actually make sure that it floats on the water and it sets its anchor to false in the script. So, um, so it's okay to leave the, the vehicle seat anchored. Make sure it actually should be anchored in order for it to work properly. So if we run this, it's just going to fall apart even though it's anchored. Um, and that's because the parts are not welded to each other. So let's reset this. And what we need to do is um, weld them to each other. So if we click on the boat, uh, let's... So we need to go through each part. This shouldn't be too hard. Let's find... Oh, here we are. Um, this little wood piece is already selected. And so we need to set the bottom surface to welded. So what we need to do is we go down in this properties window and we find the bottom surface is smooth and let's make it weld but as you can see here it did not actually make this bottom surface welded but it made this surface welded that's because this is the bottom surface but the brick has been rotated so what we need to do is let's um, select this smooth tool here and then redo that and we can kinda sneak under here uh, select this weld thing at the top here this weld tool and weld it so now if we run it, it will, see this thing will stick to the base of the boat. And now we need to do that with the rest of the parts. So let's get this wedge here and go down here. And we can do the same thing. Um, we can either use the properties window to weld it, or we can sneak through here and do the same thing we did with the other one. <clears throat> Make sure you have the correct surface selected when you weld it. Alrighty, and then... Let's find this one more piece and sneak over here and weld it. Oops, I did the wrong one. Being, so since I did the wrong one here, we can just fix that by using the smooth tool. So now if we run it, um, it still falls because it's not anchored to the seat. So all we need to do is do one more step. Let's select the seat and then sneak under here and weld it. By the way, the way I'm moving slowly is I'm holding shift. Right, there we go. It's it's uh, welded. So if you hold shift and move around, it will make you go slower. So you'll be able to do stuff like this. And if you want to, you can do tools, settings, and you can change the speed of the camera. when Like this is the shift speed, and this is the regular camera speed, and this is the mouse wheel speed. You can also change a bunch of other settings here. And if we run it, then the boat will stay there. And let's um, hop into play solo so that we can test the boat and make sure it's working properly as well. Let's jump in. And here we go. It's working, except it's really slow. So if you want to, um, let's exit out here. And let's go to the vehicle seat and change the max speed to, like, let's say, 10. And then it'll be much faster because going five studs per second is very slow. I'm pretty sure it's measured in five studs per, or in studs per second. I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. One more thing um, is someone asked me about how I'm doing the collision stuff. So if I do this and um, this, see this button right here? this collision detection button what this does is if it's in there then you can you can't move it inside this brick but if we unpop that box then we can move it inside the brick and it'll work just fine another thing you can use is uh, I think it's Anaminus's command utility right here yeah command util panel if we click that you get some options right here I haven't found a use for this yet because Roblox um, added this collision detection thing, but you can rotate things with a custom rotation increments, uh, which Roblox does not offer, so that's useful for one thing. Alright, so <clears throat> one more thing, as soon as you're finished with your... Oh, you know what, I don't have enough time to explain that in this video. I'll probably go over some, some of this some more in another video, so thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye!